Hello and welcome to another episode of Lost Gotham Unscripted. This is going to be a horror block unboxing episode and also maybe a little bit of an update on projects, the things that we're, we're doing in the near future. Um, careful viewers will notice that we have missed a month. We did not do a horror block last month because I never received my horror block last month. Uh, the records show that it was delivered, but I never received it. I'm in the process of filing a claim. I was really hoping maybe they would both show up and we could do both at once. I'm unbox two months horror blocks at, at once, but I don't want to wait. I've got a lot of stuff going on uh, right around now, and I'll talk about that a little bit after the unboxing when I'm talking about the, the updates on productions and stuff. So, let's crack the box. <clears throat> All right. I am seeing, okay, an interesting t-shirt. Yeah, I would probably wear this. This is uh, Bride of Frankenstein tea. It says, uh, Together Forever. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of cute. I mean, a little girly maybe, but whatever. I'll, I'd wear that. Um, oh, now this looks kind of cool. He's watching you. It's a horror block slap watch. So, it's a nice black, nice black color. And in the face here, we have like some vampire teeth, fangs, and blood. And uh, it looks like the hands will glow in the dark. I mean, I already have a watch on, but yeah, nice slap watch there. Nice and uh, sleek and black rubber. Nice kind of silver face. Does look a little, uh, I could probably pop the watch out of this rubber thing, it looks like. It's not in there perfectly. Some people, if they do a lot of stuff, they might lose the watch, but it's pretty cool. It's definitely interesting. All right. Zombie containment unit. So a little transparent oil drum with what looks like uh, ooze or goo in it. And I think I can see like a little ghostly zombie floating in the goo. Uh, Security Zombie Emergency Response Operations Division 1. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, open this up and have a play with the goo. Um, I think some of the goo leaked a little bit and it's drying out on the top of the container here. So, uh, oh yeah, that's snotty. When you get down into the fresh stuff that hasn't been oxidized, there's like a snotty ooze that kind of leaked a little bit, but it was, it was kept in place by the saran wrap, plastic, whatever. Let's see if I can open this, uh on an unedited video without looking like an idiot. Hmm. Now my hands are wet and slimy. Rest that off. Because it's got a little pull tab here. And literally it looks like snot. Um, it's got a little pull tab here with an arrow that says pull it up. But I don't know if the goo got into the thing and just made it Ah, there we go. All right, so, oh yeah, that's that's quite liquidy and and gross. Let's get the zombie out. The zombie's kind of stuck in the bottom there. I'm gonna put the snotty ooze back into the container. Ah, uh, this would be great stuff for a, a movie prop for if I wanted some snot. All right, yeah, this uh, this little zombie looks a little weird. They've got like a rotten out stomach. Uh, they're holding on to someone's dismembered leg. So it's, uh, again, probably from looking at the coloring of it, it probably glows in the dark. This stuff will probably glow in the dark too. And it looks disgusting. It looks like uh, bodily fluid. It looks like snot. Um, very cool. All right, there's some 
Ah, oh, interesting. This is a plush zombie virus. And we've had stuff like this before, my family. We, we had things like um, mad cow disease, you know, th things like that. And they're basically cute representations of what the actual virus looks like. So they've designed a zombie virus here in sort of the, the microscopic form. And they have replicated it as a, a cute plush. So I now have a giant microbe. Drew Oliver is the, the person, the company that made this. And this is the zombie virus. If, if you're interested in anything like this, uh, you can go to giantmicrobes.com. All right, there's some, some facts on the inside. I won't sit here and read those to you. Uh, these videos, I'm sure, are boring enough. I don't need to read your bedtime story and have you go to sleep on me. Not before you hit like, subscribe, and all those buttons. All right, we have a vintage, Canadi vintage Canada uh, book. That's the brand. It's called Bitten. Uh, I'm thinking werewolves or, you know, vampires, obviously. Those are the two things. Oh, there we go. This is no ordinary werewolf tale. So, werewolves. And, uh, yeah, the, the, book, the book that came in this month's, or last month's, Loot Crate, uh, I haven't read it yet, but my wife read it. She says it was really good. She'll probably go ahead and read this or pre-read this for me um, as well. And so we'll see if this is any good. But having a nice chunky new book by an author I'm not familiar with, Kelly Armstrong. Um, you know, it's always cool to check out new authors to see, you know, if, if they are any good and they have any other books. You know, it's a, a new little obsession to, to read for a while. All right, the Liana Vamp stamp. Huh, interesting. All right, so yeah, the, the horror block little card here, postcard. There's a horror block short film festival in association with Rue Morgue. Uh, I'm, I have got to get on the ball and make our film. I, I wrote a script. But with everything going on right now, I have other film projects I have to finish. I really want to get a film entered into this competition. We're based out of Bakersfield, and another Bakersfield film uh, company, uh, Hectic Films, is also out of Bakersfield. And they have been doing a lot of good work recently, and they've made some good films in the past. And I wish them luck and everything, but hey, this is a competition. They're, they've already had enough luck with their projects that have been out there. I've been held back by so many other projects and things delaying my projects that I want to get this done and I want to get it out there and hopefully a bunch of people will vote for it because, hey, we could really use the money. The Hectic Film guys, they're, they're getting money. They're getting promotions and stuff. Their, their film, Naked Zombie Girl, is getting into all kinds of short film festivals and they're, they're having tremendous luck. Hey, let's share some of that luck with the other guys. All right, let's, uh, let's get back on track here. The last thing in the box is Room Org Magazine, which is always a great uh, read. So just flicking through here, there's some cool stuff with uh, some movies coming to, to Blu-ray. Um, so like Monkey Shines, The Quartermass Experiment, The Dark Half, which uh, is a Stephen King adaption. I didn't think it was a bad movie. It was interesting. Um, let's see, coming to DVD, and, um, okay, uh, ad for beer in here, Halloween, in the, in the key of madness, so talking about the music of the Halloween movies, yeah, definitely some interesting stuff in this issue, just like always, we, uh, we, we really like, you know, everything, the, the stuff that this magazine covers, it's what we like to read about. So, magazine, book, microbe, 
watch and little zombie toy there have been better blocks definitely but I mean this one easily stands up to the loot crate that I received so this block versus the last loot crate that I received they're, they're toe and toe you know again if I had to pick one sure the loot crate is going to be a little bit cheaper but it's going to be a little more generic horror block is always going to be horror and fun stuff you know and they always have the t-shirts too so that's always great i like to grow my t-shirt collection and saves me having to buy clothes um all right before i leave you guys a little update on the things that we're doing uh in a couple of days here today is thursday tomorrow we, tomorrow morning we are going to be looking at a new studio space so we might be moving our studio from where we are currently to a new slightly bigger facility that we are hoping will be better for us we will know for sure tomorrow where we get to go in for the first time and and take the tour so yeah that's coming up that's going to be eating a big chunk of our time but then I also have a short comedy film that I'm going to be shooting this weekend. I'm going to be shooting, editing, and getting that submitted. It's a, a class requirement for a class that I'm in currently. What else? Yeah, I have the script for the short horror film that I want to do. It might be a little problematic casting wise i haven't heard back from any of the actresses that i that i've tried to get to come on board for for the project so it's going to be iffy but i really want to get it done and i really want to throw uh you know my boot into the ring and you know make sure that i'm at least in with a chance to win some of the money from the horror block short film competition because it would be great exposure for us. It's a great opportunity for us to put a, together a project, get it out there, get a, a bigger audience than we would normally get just on our own through our own subscribers and friends and you know the extended networks that we have. Um, the horror block one is obviously a lot bigger and would give us a lot of exposure. So I'm hoping to put together a really great short film, something a little bit different. It's not just zombies and werewolves and vampires again. I want to do something a little different because um, as much as I love all of those things, you know, you, you don't want them all the time. You want a little bit of variety. So I'm trying to do something that's got a little bit of variety to it and I'm hoping that that's going to catch your guys' attentions. And yeah, so look for that in a week or two, right before the, the deadline. The deadline for that is coming up in about 10 days. And so is the deadline for my other project, the comedy that I have to do. So I'm going to be shooting two projects very close together, editing them both, doing the special effects, rendering them and uploading them Two projects in about 10 days. So hopefully everything goes well. Wish me luck. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.